Hiya, Cyclops FBB here and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be re um, just quickly reviewing this uh, Darwin FPV uh, Baby, Pro, uh, Baby Ape Pro and the original Baby Ape. Um, so I've got two here. I've got the version one which is souped up. I'll go through that in a minute. And then this is a standard V2 Pro. There's a, there's a few differences between the two, uh, mainly the arms and the camera and uh, a couple of other little bits and pieces. So we'll put this to one side for a minute and we'll do an unboxing. Right, so this is basically what you get, like the small box. And I got the ones with the uh, lilac or purple. They look more lilac to me, but um, French props which are um, uh, 3016 Gemfam uh, three bladed props. Now these these are uh, quite low pitched. Um, if you want higher pitch ones, get the three inch um, HQ props. They're, they're a bit more aggressive. Um, or you could try um, three inch uh, by blades, which I'm gonna be trying out as well. Um, I think they're made by HQ props. Anyway, so that's that. Um, you get um, you don't get the spare antenna. I'll go through that in a minute. Why that's in there. You get these rubber bands that um, you can put on there. You get a battery strap, some screws, um, some zip ties. Um, yeah, it's just some some gummies and all that. Uh, you get a schematic sheet. Which you get some stickers as well, which are down there, and then you get a uh, you get a really nice big uh, color schematic sheet, which tells you all the uh, UARTs and tells you everything you need to know on that, and uh, the v the VTX and the receivers, depending which one you want, and then it tells you. What gyro it's got on it and all that. Um, this has got fifth. It's got a 15 amp um, flight board on there. The motors are 1104 43,000 kV, which is uh, 3S. Um, the wheelbase is 143 mil, and you got a Caddx Ant camera on this, not the best camera in the world. Uh, you got this long Ela e S antenna. Uh, the TPU mount on the back is the new one with the. Uh, it's got like rails on there, so you can just slide the uh, receiver in and out. Um, then you got your VTX antenna, which is at the back. It once you got the battery on and everything, it kind of. Um, kind of blocks it a little bit you've got um, the round standoffs instead of the uh, hexagon type standoffs on this and that's so that the plug on the camera can be tilted up and down so I've got this on maximum tilt so that's why they changed that um, you got a, um, a capacitor at the back I think it's uh, about a hundred um, microfarads um, and a, an F4 flight controller I believe now when I when I got this oh you got the LEDs on there as well um, these LEDs light up when you're flying and the faster you go the brighter the the uh, they they light up it's controlled by the throttle and then when you've got your bleepers your, your bleeper armed they flash um, yeah, when I got this, the VTX wasn't working. I'm currently in talks with, because um, I, I had to buy another one um, over here in, in the UK, because uh, Banggood, where I got this from, didn't have any. So I, I ended up um, buying it from Unman Tech, and that came sort of next day delivery. So um, it's, it's all working fine now, but the original one was defective. Um, yeah, so 
I'm in talks with uh, with Darwin FPV and Banggood to try and get another one out of them because it owes me £16 at the moment for ordering another one. Now, as I said, this is the uh, this is the V2 Pro, so it's got the it's got the twin arm. So if you break an arm, you you can buy the um, you can buy like a twin. It's like a twin set that comes in one unit. And on the V1, if you notice, it's got it's got loads of uh, screws in the middle where this one hasn't. That's because these are single arms. So you can change each arm separately. Or you can just buy another frame because they're cheap enough and just um, just change it to the modern type. But um, yeah, this is a, I think this is a stretch X or wide X as they call it. And this is a true X frame. So the arms do make a difference. Also, the arms on here are thicker. These are 3 mil arms and on this one they're 2.5 mil. I think the frame's the same. I'm not. I'm not sure. They, the the frame actually looks looks the same. Just as I said, the standoffs and that. Now with this one, I um I bought this on eBay, and uh, it was the same price. Bearing in mind, it's got mods on there. It's got iFlight Zing motors on there, um, which are 1105. 45,000 kV so this is actually 4S compatible but the flight controller isn't so obviously only 3S. I've um, got the TPU mount um, for the for GoPro or um, Insta360 Go or whatever and I've got the stand feet as well the protectors for the uh, arms. Um, yeah so this, this is uh, all working fine and dandy and everything. Um, so, there's subtle differences between the two. Now, I'm going to be doing something interesting with this. Um, I'm going to be mounting uh, a camera on here. I've got um, a Firefly Micro, um, which, which is um, 1080p and 720 resolution so I can get HD footage on playback and um, yeah so this will be this will, this will be doing a few flights it's got the um, normal camera in here the Darwin FPV 700 TV lines on there whereas this is 1200 being a Caddix and so that's that's bog standard this is this is tuned so um, uh, I know I know the motors aren't supposed to be very good on them, but I've got a box of about five spare ones, so I'm really not bothered. But this this one is what sparked my interest the most. Um, so yeah, these are both bound. They've got the latest firmware on it, V3 um, ELRS. They both got ELRS receivers in them, and uh, I'm going to be doing a flight test. Um, video at the end of this one and it's going to be on this one because this is just standard out of the box and it'd be a fair comparison but I'm going to be doing some update videos using this because I've got plans for this and I'm going to be doing a couple of little different different um, bits and pieces on this uh, that I haven't done before and uh, this would be perfect for it um, so Price wise, uh, you can still buy these and, and all the spare components, they do all, all components for this. You can change frames, you can change arms, um, it's, it's cheap, very very cheap. Um, the other thing is, on this, uh, it's very easy to strip down. Now, it, you only got to take... Uh, I think it's yeah the standoff screws off and then the back the back screws at the back there these two and there's a hidden one in the middle there very hard to see I didn't notice it at first which is on a standoff in the middle there 
but you have to unscrew both at the same time there's a screw there and there's a screw there well they're interlinked so you have to use two screwdrivers and take them off at the same time and then uh, you can take the top plate off um, you can take the VTX off without taking the top plate off but when you put it back in it's a bit fiddly because you've got to get there's a little spacer in that VTX there to stop obviously to stop it arcing on the carbon um, you can also put battery strap through there and uh, they're a bit fiddly to do so I advise to do it outside the um, the frame rather than inside uh, there's a there's there's a plug on there that's hidden inside all you do is plug it in and that's it it's, it's a five minute job to change that out um, other than that it's very fast I've, I've, I've flown this line of sight because at the time the VTX I, I hadn't realized the VTX was um, broken I thought it was the antenna and so obviously I could only fly it line of sight at the time and it was bloody quick so um, that's on 3S yeah so uh, that's that so we'll just have to see how reliable it is in the um, in the near future but um, I'm hearing they're quite good it's just these these motors that, that aren't too too clever but I've I've um, I've done a cartwheel I've landed and cartwheeled on the props um, several times because where I was losing signal I just had to dump the throttle and drop it because I couldn't see where I was flying and uh, I dumped this quite heavily cartwheeled along the ground on quarter throttle and everything and all that was wrong with the props after all them crashes was up was they were just grass stained which I cleaned off with a bit of alcohol I, I was amazed how, how, how the props didn't snap because it landed quite heavily. The only thing I would say is these wires, these um, these power wires, they seem very thin for 3S. I would have thought that the gauge would be double, double the thickness of that because they are on some of my other 3S quads. But hey, you know, it, it seems to work okay. So, and um, the flight times are supposed to be quite good on it. So that should be. That should be quite good. I was thinking on a 550 million amp, uh, 550 R-line battery, you should get about between between five and seven minutes, depend depending how you how you're ripping it or whether you're slow cruising it. Um, the only thing I would suggest is to tie the, these antennas away from the props because this is quite long. So a prop strike is, you know very easily done and uh, these, these antennas are soldered they're soldered into the ELRS receiver so I've never seen one like this before um, yeah so that's that so I'll be doing I'll be doing a flight on this and then I'll be doing in another video I'll be doing something a bit special on that one so uh, yeah that's that's about it really um, Right, so on to the flight video. I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Okay, folks, just a short one here. Um, as I had a battery ejection, um, I just wanted to get this video out. Um, yeah, so this flight's really good. I'm, I'm well pleased. I've got eight minutes on a 550 milliamp an hour battery the other day um, doing aggressive freestyle. Uh, so if I cruised around, I could have probably got about 10 maybe even 11 minutes um this handles really good i'm i'm well pleased with it i had a couple of sd card problems otherwise i would have got the video out sooner but um yeah that's just the way it goes Re reviewers curse and all that um so you'll be seeing a lot more videos of this and, and my other one um in the near future so excuse the uh the short video but yeah, I highly recommend this. I, I don't know why people got a problem with it other than the quality control. It's dead easy to work on. It flies absolutely brilliant. Um, it's very, very efficient. One of the most efficient quads I've, I've, I've had. So um, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. Love it. There's nothing wrong with the motors at all. 
I, I, I find it's perfect. Um, maybe a bit unreliable, but they're cheap enough. They're only six dollars for a new one or upgrade like like on my other one. But um, yes, just absolutely faultless. Even the tune on it's good. I'm just going around in my local park, just messing around here um, until I I tried to do a power loop through the uh, goal there, misjudged it and got a battery ejection. So there you have it. Anyway. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Bye.